we've got our owls to show you. <laughs> I've been trying to get these guys on camera for what feels like forever. In reality, it's only been a couple of days where we had them, but we didn't have any signal here on Buffalo's cut line. This owl is in exactly the same position as when I last saw him, looking very grumpy <laughs> with those false ear tufts sticking out of his head and desperately trying to weather the wind. Look at them, aren't they just apps? Well, this one, isn't it absolutely beautiful? They are so stunning. This is definitely one to add to your bird list, a white-faced owl. Not one that we see all that often. Very, very strange looking creature. There's actually two of them that are on this thing. Look at this. Ah, oh, this camera provides us with such awesome views from the talons to the streaks down the chest. Aren't they just beautiful? And like all owls, somehow manage to look incredibly disapproving. They really do have such disapproving faces. Can you see the second one there, Jandre, from where you are? You can. Awesome. I just want to show you the second one. They're sitting in exactly, exactly the same spot. Look at that. Do you see what I was saying the other day when I said they look like caricatures of owls? Or like sort of artistic impressions? Look how tall and skinny this one is. Like a sort of owl that you would see painted on the side of a mug with those absurd tufts of feathers that are false ears. It's absolutely awesome. So, so cool. Well, I just, I didn't want to take you away from those lion cubs for too long, but I did just want to show you the triumph of the owl search and the fact that we've finally been successful and we should hopefully be able to watch these owls in future. But with that, let's head back over to Brent.